In 1963, Dr. Herbert Rothenberg described the physical finding of bilateral discrete calus formation in the suprapatellar area of patients suffering from COPD with advanced respiratory insufficiency. He called this finding the thinker's sign and thought it might correlate with the severity of the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. He suggested that this finding happens mostly in patients with severe COPD who spend most of their time in the tripod position, with the elbows resting on the front third of the thighs. This position typically optimizes the inspiratory accessory muscles and also thought to help the diaphragm regain its more natural shape. The repeated friction between the elbows as well as the distal end of the thigh as well as the constant pressure causes the stratum corneum to proliferate and it also causes release of hemosurgeon from the erythrocytes. Due to the difficulty in sharing such knowledge back in the days, Dr. Dahl described the same finding seven years later and referred to it as Dahl sign. And then in 1979, Dr. Whiteside described again the exact same findings and referred to it as the target sign. In addition to the hyperpigmentation and hyperkeratosis that happens in the thigh, calus formation can also happen in the elbows, especially when patients lean on a flat surface rather than on their thighs, like a table. Um, and that was first reported in 1985 and was termed hyperkeratosis of forearms associated with pulmonary disease. While the thinker sign or doll sign is mainly reported in patients with advanced COPD with an FEV1 of less than 30% predicted, it has also been reported in patients who have advanced congestive heart failure as well as severe interstitial lung disease. If you like the content of this video, please take a moment to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.